Expectations are mounting for the 2022 World Cup, which is set to begin in November 2022 and promises to be a legendary event. Matches will take place in eight stadiums spread across five cities. One distinctive aspect of the event is that the 2022 World Cup is scheduled to take place in Qatar, the first World Cup in the Middle East. Given that it will take place in Qatar, some magnificent stadiums have been lined up to host the games. And if you enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos about incredible multi-billion dollar constructions throughout the globe. So without further ado, let's begin with the first stadium, Lusail Stadium. The Lusail Arena has an 80,000-person capacity, which is twice as many as most of the Qatar 2022 World Cup stadiums and the highest capacity overall. This is undoubtedly an enormous accomplishment for the designers, but there is even more to this stadium than just capacity. The Lusail Stadium is gorgeous from the exterior, reflecting the sunshine with glittering gold, and its round shape with varying heights around the outside is stunning. If that wasn't enough, a circle of water surrounds the entire stadium, intensifying its radiance. The Lusail Stadium will use solar power to cool itself and leave no carbon imprint, similar to the other stadiums used for the 2022 World Cup. At Lusail, there will be five group matches, one round of 16 match, one quarterfinal match, and one semifinal match. The finals will be held in Qatar's Lusail World Cup Stadium, which is the most significant match and will surely be a spectacle. Al Bayt Stadium Among the stadiums for the World Cup 2022, Al Bayt is a noteworthy location. Al Bayt can accommodate 60,000 spectators. The stadium's spectacular tent structure envelops an ultra-modern football stadium and was inspired by the Bayt Al Shaar of Qatar's nomadic people. It has a retractable roof, making it a distinctive arena among the others. This stadium is where the World Cup opening ceremony will take place, and 60,000 spectators are expected to fill the place to capacity. The opening ceremony is often quite impressive during World Cup tournaments, and we anticipate that this one won't be any different. The stadium boasts a few distinctive design features such as being regarded as a green stadium, which denotes that it is environmentally responsible. Additionally, the design has a somewhat seashell-like aspect, which further distinguishes it as being pretty special. As Al Yunub Stadium Al Yunub is a World Cup 2022 venue with a capacity of 40,000. The Al Yunub Stadium has an exterior that is smooth and has a very slick design, giving it a sailboat appearance from above rather than a football stadium. A retractable roof is a feature of the stadium. And this stadium was finished ahead of schedule when compared to the other ones in the World Cup, as it has been there since May 2019 and is still shining. It will host six distinct matches when the World Cup officially begins, including five group games and one knockout game. We also anticipate that the stadium will be much more impressive once it is illuminated at night and packed with spectators. Khalifa International Stadium It's hard to believe, but this stadium has been around since the 1970s. It's one of three stadiums erected by Qatar in the Al Rayyan area. However, as you might anticipate, this one had a significant makeover for the impending occasion, with significant adjustments made back in 2017. In fact, it is the first stadium in history to receive a four-star rating from GSAs. This makes it one of the best World Cup 2022 venues and is quite significant in and of itself. The roof's design was influenced by the sails of traditional Dao boats that local pearl divers used to navigate the Persian Gulf currents. It will host the third-place match and one game in round 16. This stadium has already served as the venue of events like the 2011 Pan-Arab Games, so it is no stranger to elite football action. We anticipate a fantastic atmosphere, and even if you are unable to attend, you will still be able to view this stadium in all its splendor on television. Al Rayyan Stadium This is the second stadium to be constructed in the Al Rayyan area. The Al Rayyan Stadium was constructed on the site of the former Ahmad bin Ali Stadium, which had been destroyed to make room for it. More than 90% of the debris from that demolition was utilized to construct the new stadium. It's fair to assume that the stadium has seen some opulent improvements since this dismantling project. 
The stadium has a sturdy metal exterior when viewed from the outside, and its seating capacity has been doubled to accommodate more than 40,000 spectators. Honestly, we don't think this venue has gotten quite as much funding as some of the other ones, which is possibly why the old stadium's debris is being used again. There is no disputing, however, that this stadium is attractive from the inside, where there are plenty of lighting and excellent seating options. Ras Abu Abud The Ras Abu Abud Stadium, commonly known as Stadium 974, is unquestionably one of the more ambitious World Cup 2022 venues we've covered here. Unbelievably, it has a modular architecture and includes 974 recycled shipping containers to honor the area's industrial past, which largely adheres to the Qatari goal of making all stadiums as green as possible. Even if there are no plans to use the stadium beyond the 2022 event, Ras Abu Abud is still expected to hold 40,000 spectators, which will add to the venue's impressiveness. In the history of the FIFA World Cup, it is the first temporary venue. Dis the whole region will be destroyed after the 2022 World Cup to make room for a recreational shoreline. Later, the stadium's seating and shipping containers will be taken apart and donated to help other developing nations throughout the world. Education City Stadium the Education City Stadium, which will be finished in June 2020 and has the moniker, Diamond in the Desert, is the third stadium to be constructed in the Al Rayyan area. Indeed, this one was constructed in a record amount of time, especially considering that it was intended to use the stadium for events other than the World Cup. This was a multi-million dollar project, just like all of the other stadiums for the World Cup 2022, but it's safe to say that the finished product shows the cost. This stadium is stunning and exudes all the glitz and elegance for which Qatar has grown to be renowned. But after the World Cup is over, this stadium's capacity will be significantly decreased. In fact, after the competition, the Education City Stadium's seating capacity will be halved. After that, the seats will be donated to underdeveloped nations, a kind deed that will greatly aid in promoting soccer in other areas of the world. Al Thumama Stadium and finally, the Al Thumama Stadium in Doha will host seven World Cup games. This includes the five group games and two knockout games, for which the stadium is anticipated to draw more than 40,000 spectators. This doesn't make it one of the bigger venues for the games, but this in no way lessens the stadium's allure. The Takiya hat, a traditional cap worn by men and boys throughout the Middle East, served as the idea for this stadium which was built by a corporation with roots in the same region of the world. So there it is, the eight World Cup stadiums. What do you think of these venues? Do you think these incredible stadiums will set up an incredible World Cup? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to the channel to see more mega-built videos. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.